Hey, what's up? Uh, I got another email from a friend of mine. This time it's from Sarah. Uh, in some of your videos, you talk about eating healthy and investing in your body. I always try to do this, and since last year, I lost 20 pounds. Good for you. Awesome. It's no small feat. But when I'm out with friends, a salad really does look a salad really doesn't look appealing compared with their pizza. Any help on this? Um, first off, Sarah, like I said, it's really good. 20 pounds is not an easy feat, um, and you obviously have goals, which is very important. That's good. You know, you want to look good. Um, in our society, uh, we are programmed to be short-sighted. All right. And what I mean by this is that even if you just take some of the reality TV shows that are out there and some of the quick fixes that were, were fed through marketing and advertisements and such, you know, take this pill and you're going to be ripped. Take this and you're going to lose 20 pounds by tomorrow. You spend a year, do by tomorrow, you know. Well, it's all a bunch of bullshit, right? Um, and it gives us a, a non reality way, a non-realistic way of looking at the world and thinking what we're actually going to get out of it. So, um, if you look at some of the TV shows, you've got like Flip or Flop, my mother watches that one, it's, um, it's basically they buy a house and they flip it, right? Well, they go into a house that's completely decrepit, and within an hour, you've seen that house get demolition and new fixtures and furniture and all this stuff put into it. And it looks amazing. Well, it gives a really unrealistic view of how much it really takes to flip a house. And people get involved and they start doing it without doing any real research. And they get screwed on a lot of money. Or you have a contractor show up at a house, quote you um, a price as well as a time frame of which to do, say, your patio or to do your, your bathroom. And you're blown away and you're like, well, why can't you do it in this this amount of time. I, I got some contractor friends and these shows drive them nuts. The problem is, is that this basically programs us to expect the same. Now, on the flip side, all right, it also messes with our perception of how, how bad something's going to be for us. And you're talking about food. You're saying that when you go out with your friends, they're eating the, the pizzas and the burgers and that types of stuff. You're going for the salad because you're trying to maintain, you know, your girlish figure. You like your curves, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, and the problem is, is that you know you see these girls eating like this, and I just happen to know of you know some of your friends personally, and they they still look, they still look good, right? Well, a lot of that's genetics, and regardless of who you are, the way that it works is that you've got this amount of time on a scale, right, of your life to look you know, young and, and youthful and, and, and beautiful, right? When you're eating those kind of foods, you are shortening the time of which that's going to last. But see, again, with this short-sighted concept and, and the way that our brains are working like that, these girls, they're eating their mozzarella sticks, they're eating the, all that stuff. Well, tomorrow, the worst they're going to feel from eating McDonald's they're going to feel kind of bloated, they're going to feel kind of sluggish, maybe like brain fog, all that, but their body isn't going to really feel the effects of the nutrient deficiency that they're, they're enduring right now until a little bit down the line. And a lot of these girls, like I see these like girls in their early 20s and all that kind of stuff, they're eating anything under the sun, they're, they're you know going tanning, they're doing this, they're doing that. They don't realize tanning may look, make you look amazing right now. Dude, that, that increases your wrinkles down the line. That that speeds up the time of which you're gonna you, you, you're gonna start to um, the elasticity of your skin is gonna give out. You know all that kind of stuff. So basically, you can't be short sighted in anything. All right, um, because by eating right, by having that salad, you're gonna actually elongate the time of which you're you're youthful and beautiful. Right. The most important thing to have is an end game. Okay. Without an end game, you're going to fall to ruin. All right? Now, don't get this twisted because an end game does not mean a destination. Okay? <clears throat> Your end game does not need to be, you know, this, this absolute perfect uh, beauty of a woman on, on the front page of Sports Illustrated or, or whatever, Swimsuit Edition, right? You don't need to be that. Okay? 
and, and once you reach that, you wouldn't be happy anyway. You want to keep going. End game just means you want to look to the future and see what it is that you're trying to obtain. All right. In our, um, I shut off my phone. <laughs> um, in the society and everything, being short-sighted, we have this YOLO mentality. You know, fuck it, because tomorrow we might die. Right? Well, what if you don't? And then you don't die the day after, and you don't die the day after that. Well, eventually, the decisions you made of, of as a child are going to catch up to you as an adult, and you're going to get blindsided by things. And if you start to learn the stuff of which you already know, because if you lost 20 pounds between last year and this year, I'm guessing, if you did it healthily, I'm guessing you know a lot more than a lot of your other friends do. Well, later on in life, when they've already screwed up their, their bodies, you know, physically, um, they're going to be playing catch-up. And they're not going to learn at a rate fast enough to really offset the damages that they're causing. So, you're ahead of the game in a lot of different areas. Now, I, I'm no expert on how to completely uh, eradicate the desire for pizza, and I'm not even going to tell you that you should, all right? I think an 80-20% rule of life is pretty good. 80% of the time, do what you know is right. Do what you know is going to get you to your goals and help you to obtain them. 20% of the time, if you slip, you slip. Don't beat yourself up. You want to have that slice of pizza every so often? Fine. Just don't make it a way of life. Don't, don't make it um, a way of something that is just not congruent with who you are or what it is that you want to obtain, all right? Who you are is far more important than what you do. You can have someone who's a, who's a jerk, who is nice to people, all right? But that's just something they're doing. They're not really a nice person. They're, they're, they're a jerk just being nice, doing the action. If you Im are somebody who embodies love, and you have someone along the lines of like Gandhi or, or Mother Teresa, Everything that they do, everything they touch, is a product of their love, right? So, um, inside, become the person that you want to be, and if you slip 20% of the time, don't worry about it. You know, another idea for you, um, on, on like the, the background of your phone, you know, take the nastiest fattest, most disgusting picture you've got of yourself stuffing you, your face with cake and all this kind of stuff. Put it as your background on your phone. Use Picasa or some program to take a picture of what it is that you're trying to obtain and splice them together. You know, don't don't get some like Victoria's Secret, you know, model, you know, perfect depiction of beauty to make yourself like feel bad. You know, be realistic with what you want to what you want to obtain. You know, we all have some limitations, and you want to be realistic about it, right? But what you're working towards, put a put a picture of that right next to the worst picture you've got of yourself, and then as time goes on, when you're finally feeling comfortable with yourself and you get a picture that you really like of yourself, put that one right next to it, and put it as the background of your phone, because every time you look at it, I actually know a girl who does this. Every time you look at your phone, especially in social situations like that, you're going to be like, all right, I can eat all these cookies here, you know, all these sweets coming out for Easter and all this candy and all this whatever. You know what? I can have some of this because I know my end game eating that stuff is congruent with my end game. Bring your own food to, you know, people's houses and stuff. I've done that before. <laughs> like, it, it sounds silly, but... Believe it or not, people are, are receptive to that. You know, they might tease you a little bit, but at the same time, they have a healthy respect for you and your decisions because you're standing up for yourself. It's something you want. And to be honest, you're being a positive light for other people. And when people see somebody really doing something that they believe in or trying to obtain something that's a little bit out of the norm, a lot of times... People are going to back you up. People are going to be respectful of you because they know that you're being an individual and you're going for something that you believe in. And that's, that's, that's awesome. You know, what you really want to do is make small changes every day. And the reason behind this, you need to reprogram your mind. 
all right? Probably one of the best things that you can do, look up success stories of other people who lost weight. And I'm not talking like by downing a bunch of pills or starving themselves or throwing up or doing cocaine and stuff because those stories are out there too. I'm saying look at the stories of the people who did it slow and steady. They were methodical. They had a plan. They stuck with it. They carried it out and they made it happen. All right. These people are going to give you some of their tips. All you got to do is just Google, you know, Google my, my weight loss story, my, how I lost, you know, da, 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 da. And you're going to find the, the natural healthy ways that some people went about doing it and how they stuck with it. You know, ideas that maybe are, are beyond mine that, that will help you to, to choose the lifestyle of which you want to stay within and how to stay uh, as true to that path as possible. Look up these stories. They're out there. So again, just keep doing what you're doing. Believe in yourself. Become the person of who you want to be inside because then all of your decisions that you're going to make are going to be affected by that and you're going to stay congruent with who you are. If you slip every so often, don't worry about it. Put the pictures on your phone. Put anything else around the house that's going to that's gonna motivate you, that's going to invigorate you to stay true to your goals. You know, a, a little saying over the toilet. I swear to God. A little saying over the toilet. Something that something that rings true to you. You know, you print it out online or something. Put it over the toilet. Every time you go to the bathroom, you're going to see this. It's going to reinforce it. It's going to get in your mind. It's going to motivate you. You're going to feel good, you know. Um, so keep doing what you're doing, Sarah. You know, I hope it works. And, uh... Thanks for the question.